Okay, so this is my uh, project bike. This is the one I got accused of having a smelly Italian. So I put the ball scope down, had a look down the inlets to make sure it didn't have a dribbly injector. Had a look on top of the piston. I could see dampness there as well as a bit of carbon. Um, so I've got a Gabrio ECU in the rear. So then I can um, actively adjust the trim pots for each cylinder. So I leaned the rear pot out and yesterday rode it for about three hours, 110 miles roughly, uh, mixed throttle, um, got wet on the way home so it was a little bit slower but on the way on the way there to see my friend, um, yeah it got a good workout let's just say. So I've just exposed the two rear plugs here so I've just loosened them. Uh, I'm just going to whip this one out um, and we'll see what we've got. Bear with me. Uh, this is the hardest one to get out, but it's. I always use a bit of tube to get the last, to unscrew the last bit of the plug out. I find it a bit easier that way. Here we go. So, my fuel line is in the way. I'll pop that up there. There we go, so let's put this in the camera way. Let's put the camera this way up. Okay, so there is the plug. Um, so before it was brick red, and now that looks pretty damn good to me. I'm gonna whip the other one out as well. I'll tell you what, I'll put the other one on there. <laughs> There you go, so I've got one on one end, one on the other end. Um, let's have a look at this one. It's always a good idea when you put your plugs out is if you've got compressed air to have a little blow round because there's some little drain holes and you don't want any dirt or crud, flies, bumblebees, whatever there is, um, to fall down your bores. Um, there you go, so let's get that one up there. So there's one of them. Obviously they're for the same cylinder. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And there's the other one. Yeah, so yeah, pretty happy with that. I don't think I'll play with it anymore. Like I say, the bike is now, flip it back that way. The bike is now, will run down as low as 1500 RPM and burble along. And I'm really happy with that ultra smooth um, for a big lumpy V-twin. So thanks for watching. Looks like I've cured the smelly Italian. Well, till somebody else complains. Thanks for watching.